Family peace. Family peace and contentment. Family peace and contentment and wholeness. Through family honesty. Through family honesty. Honesty about everything. Honesty about everything. That has always been the responsibility of humans and the human family. Family peace through family honesty about everything. Christian Sex Daddy. This is a supportive communication because I was surrounded by Christianity, churchianity, people who claimed to love God. people who were not honest and were not helpful to me, people who neglected me in areas and issues that really needed some attention and communication and cheerful, cheerful commentary on the pleasures of life which are marvelous. Oh my gosh, so grand. The feel-good gift from God is a grand thing. And if we don't start with that celebration, it's all scoldy, scoldy, scoldy rules and regulations rather than inspiration and caution so that I can actually have the best peace and the best pleasure and the best enjoyment. Christian sex daddy, not pornography, not titillation. The experts in child sex education say that the biggest problem is people are afraid. There's a fear of talking and children need cheerful commentary about real things. And sometimes fear can go from generation to generation to generation as if you're supposed to be afraid. And guess what? You're not. You're supposed to have a voice of life and good cheer and positivity. Christian sex daddy, a helper a helper who helps people parent one another regardless of what age we are. We're a bunch of silly children that are afraid of things and that like things. And some of the things that we like, we like in a way that becomes dangerous. That's the deal. So we need to talk happy about all this stuff and stay cheerful because tomorrow is coming. And what happened today doesn't have to happen tomorrow. Yippee! Christian sex daddy. It's a happy thing. It's a somewhat outrageous name because Jesus said to his disciples a thing that was outrageous and crazy and most people left him. If you do not eat my flesh and drink my blood, there is no life in you. If you don't eat my flesh and drink my blood, my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. And you will have rest for your souls. So. Jesus offends people 
and speaks outrageous things that they can barely understand until it is revealed and explained to them. And the stuff that I'm talking about is so basic. I mean, read Leviticus 15. It's so cool. The, holy, the whole family, which is separate from all the Gentiles, it's a little separate family world. The separate family world has the practice of letting everybody know about the flow. Yeah, letting everybody know about the flow. Because we're all one body and we fit together like a puzzle. That was the preparation for Jesus. An atmosphere of family where everybody lets the family know about their own personal flow. It's a design from God. It's, it's literally behavioral genius because it causes the little children to say, Mommy, Daddy, why is Brian untouchable today? And they say, well, because the men are constantly flowing fountains of baby, the river of babies. And that's just all there is to it. And we give him a day of rest so that he can be refreshed by the angels and by God. Same with the women. They get seven days of special attention. It's awesome. Christian Sex Daddy. YouTube. It's just starting out. But I'm telling you, it's gonna go places. Because I've learned a lot. I was stupid for 40 years. And I studied for 24 years on top of my studies in the world. And now I'm beginning to try to figure out how to share it with all y'all in a cheerful and positive way. Grandpa Honesty Guy, Christian Sex Daddy, YouTube.